Hey, today I'm going to be talking with Michael Karp, who's going to be showing what the art team has been working on. Take it away, Michael. Hi, hello. So this is what the art team has been working on past week. Uh, first, we have Jelly Concept Art. Uh, this one's from Blaze Edge, 1994. Maho's concept art for the Jelly Evolution for the five stages. Hedda's art. Awesome. Eric's. And we have concept art for the Lander. Awesome. So pop priorities. Concept art for the world, for like the islands for the first biome. Very nice. nice. And here's concept art for the drone. Interesting. And some stone concept art, which we uh, recently had an art jury on, so we're moving that along. Yeah. More stone concept art. And then this, couldn't get access from this, but here is where uh, this is so this was a uh, visual development for the stone biome so that awesome. like once we start creating assets for that biome uh, we can kind of just hit the ground running so like we'll already know what it looks like do me a favor full screen that if if it's possible so well, our visual development crew which consists of myself and maho have been working on visual development for the future biomes uh, so that once we finish the first one and start working on the next ones, we'll be able to hit the ground running uh, and already have a good idea of what it looks like. Cool. So, yeah, the stone biome will consist of floating islands. You can get visuals, some early explorations of what we wanted the biome to potentially look like. And here's kind of like what we finally decided on, uh, designing these islands a bit more vertically uh, so that they're tall and can be explored in like downward or upward. Cool. Adding in some like elements to kind of add to the world, maybe some built structures. Plants and foliage. The idea was that like certain areas of the biomes would be very like vegetated while other areas not so much. So we like sectioned it out into different like stages of vegetation. Interesting. Just like another example of that. Props. Uh, having some statues with like glowing elements to them. Then for jellies, kind of trying to combine the rock with like the plants. And then another one that's just rock. Creatures, uh, things that might be in the game, but we also like weren't too sure, but figured can always be changed later. Cool. It's like a cow. And yeah, that is... Now we're going to move on to the sound team. Taylor, take it away. Awesome. Thank you so much. I uh, This is the sound team's weekly progress presentation. Uh, we've had some awesome submissions over this last week, and I just wanted to, to give these some of these uh, assets some highlights. Cool. I'm going to be muted in the next uh, moment, so... So this is the sound effects portion. Um, just uh, this is Flame Fin Jelly Dew giving slash dropping Jelly Dew uh, by Jonathan. Awesome. Uh, this will be repurposed uh, for later use because we thought they sounded really good, but we just trying to figure out where to to place them.
The next the section is going to be the music, music section, uh, uh, where we, we have, have the Abyssal, Abyssal Jelly, jelly theme, theme by, by Twinkle 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 Twinkle. Um, um, and, and Jungle, Jungle Jelly, jelly theme by, by, by Left Trium Bale, which is going, which is going to be, to be also repurposed. Because we like it, like but we're, we're just we're going to try and find a better, better place, place for it to fit. Uh, West Coast now has And now okay. we're showing off uh, what the programming team has been working on. Take it away. This one here is the player screen when mm -hmm. they approach the jelly to actually interact with or prompt the interaction with the jelly. Gotcha. So we got a little placeholder um, text here. Um, we want the button um, to kind of indicate to the player what to press. Um, the cool thing is that when the player actually looks away and not looking at the jelly, it disappears. But when they look at the jelly, pops up on the screen. Awesome, looks well done. Okay, and... All right, and what are you showing us here? All right, so this one is um, Lejo and his crew. Um, they've been working on the crafting UI. Gotcha. So um, to show off their work, um, this is our little placeholder crafting bench. Um, approach it. Uh, right now, once we bring it up, we got some placeholder images. However, uh, on the left-hand side, uh, when you click on the fireplace, yep. it updates, tells you exactly how many of each um, item that you need in order to craft it. Yep. Um, got the uh, UI template, I guess, probably the best word for it, implemented, but it's really nice to be able to see when you click on it that it updates on this side and that We'll also have more um, things that you can craft populate up inside of here. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, 